A hundred bowlers began the week with hopes of a U.S. Women's Open title. Now, just 24 remain. Six of the women advancing to match play have won this tournament before. Two of them have done it twice, including top qualifier Liz Johnson, who says the mental game is just as important as the physical once the matches start. You just, uh, you gotta just gotta keep focused. You know, it, it's still 24 games and you still gotta take game by game, uh, shot by shot. And um, you can't, sometimes you, you tend to look ahead, you know, what's what's gonna happen later, you know, the next day or, or later that night. And you just, you gotta take everything one at a time because it's, it's a very long format. 2003 champ Kelly Kulik qualified second coming off her win last month at the Queens. And in third position is Amanda Beck a PBA Women's Series bowler looking for her first TV show. I was pretty much in the same position going into last year and uh, the last Women's US Open, and I, I let it go, and, and I was really disappointed and really upset with myself, so, you know, I really just want to get there, and I've been working really hard to try and get there. You know, tour was, tour was a disappointment for me this year, and, um, you know, I just want to prove to everyone that I belong here. The defending champion is still standing as well. After a rough couple of days, Tammy Boomershine fought her way into the top 24 and keeps hope alive. Last year I had a huge first round and it sort of gave me a bit of cushion that I could use for the rest of the qualifying. This year was completely opposite. I struggled from the start. I was always behind. I was always trying to play catch up. So, um, but yeah, I feel really good. I, I could have given it up at any moment. I got discouraged a hundred times and I just stuck with it and finally was able to get a couple of good games together. Round robin match play begins on Monday, 24 games to go. Then the top five will advance to the live TV finals Wednesday night at 8 Eastern from the International Training and Research Center in Arlington. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl.com. <laughs>